It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another video for The Walking Dead Universe. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some behind-the-scenes photos from the Daryl Dixon spinoff, which still doesn't have an official title. Raise the Dead is a potential title, but these behind-the-scenes pictures are actually very interesting because they bring up the possibility that Daryl might actually be losing another girl, just like he lost Leah, and by girl... I'm obviously talking about a girlfriend or a significant other, and this significant other is going to be French, obviously because the Daryl Dixon show is going to be in France. Now, there's a bunch of different assumptions here, which I'm going to dig through when we break this down. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with this breakdown. <laughs> Alright, as always, before we dive into it, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. With that, let's get right into it. So first, let's take a look at these two pictures. Obviously, we see Daryl with some other people, and based on what we are seeing here, and based on information that has come out, we know that these are going to be French actresses that are cast on the show, and they're going to appear alongside Norman Reedus, who plays Daryl. And we see on one particular picture, the one on the right, Daryl and either one of the girls or both of the girls on a carriage, which is definitely super interesting. So I'm assuming he runs into this group and maybe they help him or something along those lines. There was a picture that came out, a first look picture at the Daryl Dixon show, which showed Daryl right by a carriage, just like this. So I'm assuming that it's going to be the exact same one. Now, one of these two girls is the girl that I'm talking about. Now, I'm assuming that this girl is going to be somehow not romantically involved necessarily, but somehow connected to Daryl, connected enough so that she means something to him or that he cares about her and wants to save her. That's going to be important in a little while, but we obviously don't know which of these two girls. It's going to be one of these two. Either the one wearing the blue coat or the one wearing the brown coat. With that, let's talk a little bit about what I'm talking about when I say he's going to be saving her. So obviously, we see some screenshots on the top. This was a clip, but I just grabbed screenshots from it. But we do see Daryl. He approaches this military vehicle, which we also saw in another clip that I talked about on a separate video. But he goes in and starts fighting this guy. He kills the guy who got out of the jeep and then he rushes over someone who's on the ground who appears to be hurt. And I'm assuming that he's obviously helping her because he's not trying to kill her or him or anything like that. And again, I'm assuming it's a her because it's obviously tough to say. But we do see then Daryl runs back, grabs some sort of a box from the jeep, comes back right next to the body, and that's where the clip ends. I'm assuming that that box that he grabbed was a medical kit. And based on what we are seeing, it looks like the person who's on the ground doesn't appear to be wearing any clothes that's matching necessarily what the two girls were wearing. So that's one thing to keep in mind. But we do know for sure that Daryl is helping this person. And... If it was just a random survivor, he wouldn't necessarily be doing that. Unlikely that he would be going through this much trouble to save her. And again, I'm saying her, but we don't know if it's a her. It could be a him. But I'm just putting the pieces together because we did see Daryl with a bunch of girls in the other picture. So I'm assuming that one of those girls is the person that Daryl is trying to help in that particular clip. Now, one other thing I want to talk about, and I don't know how accurate this is, but we do know, obviously, that... The Daryl Dixon show is going to be set in Paris, France. In fact, like we've been talking about a lot recently, he's been doing a lot of filming in Paris, France for the show. But there has been some pictures that have come out, which I don't even know if it's in France or not. Probably, but maybe not. But it shows some sort of a set, a blue screen set created. Now, ignore the Eiffel Tower thing that you see because someone added that in digitally. That's not supposed to be there, but what I do want to talk about is the fact that there's a blue screen, which means that it's 
fairly likely that they might be doing some CGI work or obviously they're going to be doing some CGI work, but they're probably going to be doing some CGI work when it comes to the Eiffel Tower because they can't really be blocking off that particular area knowing that it's a tourist area and it's going to cost them a lot to do that, to close it off. So I'm assuming that they're going to be using this type of blue screen to recreate some sort of a iconic location in France. Eiffel Tower is the only one that comes to mind, but it could be just about any iconic location or building in France. What that might be potentially used for is something like this. Obviously, this is not real. This is fake, but it could be some sort of a green screen or a blue screen to give us the actual location like we see with Daryl in front of it without Daryl actually having to go there and film and without them actually having to spend a lot of money to close off the area and also put all of the decorations and all of the debris around to make it look apocalyptic. But that's pretty much everything I wanted to go through in this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community, and press the bell to be notified when I upload on the channel. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.